I want to talk about um, the, fe the feeling you get when you reveal a cast. So it's great. I don't know if you've ever watched, um, like when people are searching for dinosaur bones or they're excavating or something like that. And as a kid, I, I remember having a huge fascination with excavation, things coming out of the ground. And uh, something like that happens because you make this thing in clay and that's very much a performance, let's say, right? Because you're, the clay can dry out, it can fall off the armature, which it does frequently. So you're a little bit, you know, in this time pressure when you're working on the clay. And uh, the clay takes every gesture, every movement you make, you know, it's the most reactive material you can imagine. It's like your fingerprints, you know, you, f you put your nose in it, it'll take your nose, it's like a mirror. So that process that you kind of go through, I usually work like that at night on the clay and it's a somewhat psychedelic experience. You get very lost in the stuff and it's kind of weird and blue. And so when you cast the piece, when you make the decision to cast, there's this sort of relief. It disappears, the clay then disappears into the mold making, which takes some time, can take a couple of weeks. So then the piece kind of disappears. You know, the, my, the guys that work for me now do that. I used to do that. And uh, I have guys who are really good at the negative mold, the positive mold, you know, all of that. But the breaking out, like when they break it out, there's always this kind of, um, a little bit like you're breaking gold, you know, you're trying to break through a safe in a weird way. There's this kind of, or you're digging out dinosaur bones or something. And you can feel if a piece is good, only then. Like when it's in clay, I'm too emotionally close to it. I'll just have to stop because I'm exhausted or I'm fed up or whatever it is. But as you break it out, you'll realize, because you've had like a couple of weeks where it's disappeared, and then there's excitement. And when they're good, there's nothing beats it. And when there's bad, there's nothing more disappointing because you put two weeks into this crap thing. <laughs> so that's, uh, there's something like that. There's a kind of slight anxiety. I have a word, it's gonna be okay. You know what's gonna happen? Mm -hmm.